Hello guys and welcome to Love DJ YouTube channel where we love everything about digital art and web design. And in this tutorial we are going to continue with what we have started this YouTube channel and its abstract backgrounds. This time we are going to create this beautiful light gradient polygonal background. It's very popular concept, many people like to use this as a part of their designs. Uh, me as a contributor to Adobe Stock, I have to say, uh, when it comes to backgrounds, most downloads I had with polygonal or triangle backgrounds like that. So if you're interested how to do something like this and you might be more creative with this, this is very simple light gradient motif for a polygonal background, well, I will show you how to do it in this tutorial. So we will start by creation of new document and as usually we will use full HD resolution, uh, pixels and RGB color mode. What might be very useful for you, we are going to create color theme for this background by using a blend tool again. So I will show you how to do it. Basically we are going to draw two circles, give it different colors and create blend effect over it and it will create color palette for us. So let's do circle outside of our artboard. Let's choose blue color. Let's copy it. Ctrl C, Ctrl F on your computer. Command C, Command F on your Mac. Let's drag it down. Holding your shift key. Now give it white color. Let's select both of these. Go to object, blend, blend options. And choose specific steps. Well, we might choose 10 or 8. It depends what you want. Click OK and then go object, blend, object, blend. Oh, we have lost the selection. Object, blend and make. As you can see, we have now created gradient color palette from the blue to white. This is what we are going to use for the background of the triangles we are going to draw. So, in this tutorial there will be too many tricks. It will be more manual work. Uh, as you can see in the example, the triangles are different because they are drawn manually. And this is what we are going to do now. And how it will look at the end, it will de depend what kind of triangles you will draw, so yeah. So basically we are going to use a pen tool for this and it's very simple. Uh, just to create triangle, just click, click, click and here we go, triangle. And what's important? Uh, we will use this uh, eyedropper tool for selection of color. Click. And now see, it's blue. And now it's very, 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 very light blue. <laughs> so, we will do something like this. We have drawn a triangle. How to draw another one? It's important for you to use selection tool, click outside of this, and again choose pen tool. So we will not continue where we were and we will start new triangle and do something like this. And we have new triangle. And again we will choose eyedropper tool. I use shortcut, it's I. Usually you can see shortcut here. And I will select different color this time. And by this I will continue and draw um, triangles over the all artboard but for your for you I will speed it up because you would have to wait for a long time and now you all basically know how to do it you know 
So let's speed it up and I will then show you what to do next. Yeah guys, so we have drawn our triangles and now we are going to do to select them with selection tool and object group we put them into group. Next thing we are going to do is we are going to do into properties, go into properties and choose white color for border. And as you can see uh, it all it now looks very good and you might as well end up here if you are looking for some kind of light motif for polygonal background but you can continue and do something more with this which is what we are going to do we don't need this anymore we are going to hide it but we are going to draw the rectangle tool through all our artboard to create background so use rectangle tool and draw it like that and put it below in layers like I did. Now in your swatches go and click on this library icon in the gradients color harmonies and now you can choose whatever gradient you like maybe I will choose this one because I think I've chosen this before and we will select the group and in our blending mode we will choose I think screen yes this is the uh, theme I created before and it's quite nice and I like it but uh, you can do all kinds of stuff with this, you know. This is just one thing we have done. You can also choose different gradient for all of these triangles like this. And because we have screen blending mode, it creates very interesting motif like that. And so, what I was trying to say that you can be very creative with this and create all kinds of interesting concepts as you like but in this tutorial we decided to do this one so that's about it i hope you have enjoyed this video subscribe to my youtube channel for future tutorials illustrator and also photoshop and all kinds of videos when it comes to digital art or web design related topics 
enjoy your day or night wherever you are have a great day and see you next time